What's going on everybody? I wanted to take a minute and cover some things that uh, I've been doing lately. So I really haven't been sharing too much of what I'm studying in terms of, you know, technologies or for certifications or anything like that. So um, normally I don't put it out there that I what I'm really studying. I mean, most of you know, service provider, routing and switching, some security, that type of stuff. But um, to be honest with you, I've gotten kind of bored with those technologies. So not to say they're not cool anymore or anything like that, but I've gone all the way with enterprise infrastructure slash route switch, right? CCIE there. And I've done the NP and service provider. I've also taken the service provider version four lab exam. I didn't do so hot on it, but right now with the CCA labs being shut down, I really can't do anything with that anyway. So I did a little bit of VMware re-upping, so I've done some preparation for that. And in the process of doing that, it sparked a lot of thought of, well, maybe I should do, you know, what about the data center networking around VMware? And that got me thinking, and I've never really spent a lot of time in the data center um, technology-wise. So I was like, you know what, this would be a great time to, you know, re-up that time, you know, because I... I literally just got recertified in, I think it was April, when Cisco went ahead and re released all of the, the new certifications and things like that. I mean, they did that back in February for, at the end of February for the transition from the old certification track to the new one. But for the CCIE folks, you didn't get your new CCIE or do your, um, they basically recertified everybody back at the, like the middle of April. So I've got like, I'm two and a half months, two months in, or just about to the new certification portfolio. So it gives me like two years and like nine months to go through and get recertified. So I decided to go down the data center track. And it's always kind of fascinated me on the, the DC side of the house, you know, Nexus and UCS and VXLAND and ACI. So I figured, you know what, why not spend a couple of months learning this stuff. I mean, I've, I've dealt with Nexus enough times where I feel like it's still a, it's still a Cisco switch, right? That it just does more than what a catalyst switch will do in a lot of different cases. So I've, I've been going down that route. So I have access to the titanium image from Viral. I have access to the Nexus 9K image from Viral. So I've got some topologies that I'm, I've spun up and I'm working through. Um, I played around with VXLAN both on the flood and learn style, so basically non EVPN. I've also played around with EVPN a little bit. So I plan on putting out some content on that here in the near future. And also diving deeper into UCS and in ACI. So I have the UCS platform emulator, the UCS PE. I've been playing around with that a little bit. I also I am redeploying the ACI simulator. Uh, 4.2, the one that I did a video on that a while back, but all I did was power it on and do the basic fabric discovery. You know, APIC discovers leaves, leaves discover spine, spine discovers leaf, voila. But I didn't go any further with that. So I have an INE all access pass that I pay for every year. So I figured, you know what? It's about high time I go learn that as well. And I don't see it taking me more than a couple of months to go through all of that and be comfortable with it. I don't know how much I'm actually going to be able to demo because, well, let's be real, I don't have all the hardware. I'll be doing it all in virtualization, so there will be some capabilities that I won't be able to test out. So, for example, I won't be able to do fabric extenders. Um, really won't be able to do any, any hardcore UCSB series. I won't be able to do any hardcore ACI. That's okay, though. I can still talk about the technologies and get familiar with the GUI and things like that, more or less learn what's going on, then I can go focus on taking the data center core and data center ACI exams. So that'll be kind of cool. It'll be something different. And that's a transition point to where like, okay, I feel like I'm good with that. Uh, you know, that'll take me through the, probably the end of the year or, you know, the last quarter of the year. And then that'll be a good uh, coverage on that. And then maybe start back on security. I'm just trying to, you know, hit all the tracks that wouldn't take me a ton of time 
to get at least well versed in. I'm trying to be wider, not so much as deep. Because in the event that you know I need to have those technologies under my belt, I want to be prepared for it. So I'm always trying to better myself, advance my t capabilities. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Hopefully that is going to be inspiring for you guys. If you haven't already done so, please drop a like, a comment, and subscribe. Share if you really, really like me. And until next time, guys, take it easy.